Fuck you, Lester. You gonna let me in or what? <laughs> oh, wait, this is the wrong guy. This isn't... Well, this isn't who I'm thinking it, it is. I forget the crazy guy's name, but I was we're trying to find him. Up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're going to make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean... I need something done, you need to know something, so why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. Well, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink. And a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. yeah well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. I heard him say that he saved America. What, by outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white-collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag, and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, last Bro, what? Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism. And brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something. Just like the old days. You guys living healthy. Don't be like that guy, fellas. Live healthy. Okay, we need to get back over to our car. This guy certainly lives in a nice neighborhood. Damn it. This makes me think about uh, when I move out of the house. What kind of apartment I'll be living in. When I first move out and I'm trying to make my way in the world, make money. Hope I'm hope I can live in a decent apartment. The thing about my path is that it's um it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be different. I wanna be a boxer. The best one. So, I don't know man, I just can't wait to start that chapter of my life. Man, I love it, I love this driving. This is a backpack, man. Suburban. Suburban Outfitters? Is this what this is? Ah. Excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky. Youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. 
Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Hmm? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? All right. Hundred twenty bucks, man. Yup, that's as youthful as you're gonna get. Crazy, man. Swag. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Bye now. Thanks. Thank you. Michael? I'm all dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device Ow. in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Hang around till someone opens hmm. the door and act entitled. Not too bad. Damage. Well, that should have. Okay, I'm. Yeah. Okay. That's a nice card there. That black one. Yeah, this one and then Michael's car. Nice, nice car. Look at the drip. pushing for more functionality <laughs> but we are maxed I mean if anything we have to strip features especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later oh my you know it's yeah well you know you gotta do what you gotta do you know I mean we're talking beta in Q4 maybe Q3 look milestones are one thing but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight there's not much you can do about it you look, know what I'm saying uh, my union allocated smoke breaks about up so wait a minute do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I, I, I tea temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Ah, uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. Man, you will never catch me wearing jean shorts. When we release? Consulting consultors. Look at him. He can untangle a box of wires, but he gets confused around... And if you do, please remind me of what I just said. Be like, hey, remember about a few years ago, part five of GTA Five? Oh hi. You know. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. This is a filthy hard drive, bro. Oh, come on, brother. Uh, got any antivirus software? I uh, so. Come I on, bro. On I can't. I'm trying to make NSF a YouTube video. Link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work. Jesus. Huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same Please, kind of problems. Bro. I'll Stop. close the pop-ups. See what I can do. Your son codes? Start him early, bro. You write your best stuff oh, in your oh my. After that, it's just a hack job. Stop, Jesus. Okay. You want a massage? Cause my hands are free. <laughs> These what hackers just always come up with a new way to screw the network in the ass. There it goes. Okay, bro. I might have to edit this out. Get all these migraines. Seriously, it, it might be one. 
And that should do okay. it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. Brother. All right. Making history, dude. Send hey, and we couldn't do it without the little guys. Goodbye. What's going on? Are these guys doing air guitar too? Like, that's all you guys do here. What are you doing with your arms, brother? See that? <laughs> yeah, hand it to the developers of this game. They're doing a good job. Life Invader. Hello. Look at Michael's calves. Got the juicer legs. <laughs> I'm trying to build up my calves, man. Watch the keynote. Oh, I forgot where I parked my car. Hey, Michael, hold on, hold on. Dome, they doomed you! Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry, the phone is rigged. Hey, what's your problem, you don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me, I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life and a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Now, ah, whatever you say, enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. I hate people like that. Like Lester. Oh. Uh, I actually just recently cut off one of my friends who acted just like that. His name is N. Ah, it doesn't matter to say his name. Some dickhead. His name's Andrew. Okay, bro. I hope to have a house half the size of this one. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are so lame! No! I'm watching Famer Shame! Oh, fucking tits! Okay. The most racist guy in America. Is this part of the mission? What's going on? Please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage. Uh, 
Hey, this company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Carroll. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. Huh? And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. Okay, dog. <laughs> okay. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. Can we call him? A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24 7. What was it? On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked at home. And at the same time, you're docking with some kids at the public pool. How do I call him? We went to the guys at Fruit Computers and we. Oh, hold on a second. I think someone's trying to dock with me. Hello? Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, Jesus. Whoa. No, 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 no. Whoa. Jesus Christ, Lester. It's a day stick over there. Alright, let's say it's about a million worth. You know? How much money we got off that? It'll show us right now. Please. I guess we didn't make any money off of that. Um. <laughs> Les, that was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. Uh, I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look. All right, let's get our suit on. Yep, works. Right. And now we need to meet Lester at his warehouse. Oh, we can't. I'll have to get out of here first. Michael. Who is Martin? Is that that Italian guy? I think that's who that is. We don't have time for alcohol. Don't need that stuff. Ah, uh, jeez, can we... Let's get that off. Schmoovin'. Alright. Let's get to it. What are guns? I can't check what guns I have now. But I wonder what, I think Michael only has a pistol, so it'd be best if we, um, we went and, we went to the gun store, but I don't think we'll need to do that anytime soon, um, Michael hasn't done anything, like, too crazy yet, but when we get to Robin Banks and stuff, um, you know, I'll definitely buy something new. <laughs> yeah. Don't touch me. Oh, you don't have to call.
call to tell me that. Not you. The Dieter Sachs store detective. There's been a misunderstanding. I need you to help clear it up. What? Oh, now you want me. All right, I'm coming. The one phone call rule is for real policemen, you worthless turd. Okay. Bro, can... Like, why is this Amanda? Like, can we get a new wife? Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this is her fault. This wouldn't have happened if she wasn't a whore. Now she needs me. So you gotta drive into me. Yeah, bro. Um. Yep, her fault. This is her fault. We were just do we were doing just fine. We had to come back home. This was gonna happen. What the hell, man? I've got three stars. I'm on top of it. Let's go, Michael. All right, brother. I've got a. It's under control. I've got a helicopter after me. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna be able to escape this one. The cops are still after us. But we're sure gonna try. They're coming, Michael. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. 